Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to set up a folding platform using Folding at Home's GPU performance client and three GTX 280s. Folding at Home has been around since early October 2000, but what I'm going to show you today isn't really anything new, but previously all this information was scattered around the internet, so I thought it best to bring it into one comprehensive tutorial of Folding at Home guide. Here are the specifications of the test rig we're using today, the most important components being the GTX 280s. This tutorial will also work for the GTX 285s, 295s, etc. In fact, it'll work with any CUDA class GPU ranging from the G80 series and later. In order to fold with three GPU clients, each GPU must have its own dedicated monitor attached for a reference. To overcome this hurdle and associated expense, I'm going to show you how to create a folding dummy plug. This dummy plug will trick the GPU into thinking there's an analog monitor attached to each graphics card. Making a folding dummy plug is a relatively simple procedure and only takes a few minutes, so let's see exactly what components we need to manufacture this device. Each dummy plug will require 368 ohm resistors. These resistors are available from Radio Shack or Tandy or your local electronics store. Usually come in packs of five. These ones here cost less than one dollar. The part number you will require if you visit the Radio Shack is 271-1106. Next we'll need two VGA adapters. These usually come free with your graphics cards. Some double sided adhesive tape. Electrical insulation tape side cutters or snips, and a pair of scissors. Taking your resistor, we'll need to fold one of the wires back in itself like so. You'll have to do this with three resistors per dummy plug. Next, we'll need to cut the wires to equal length. I usually chop an extra eighth of an inch off the wires just to make sure that when we insert these into the dummy plug, we don't have too much of the resistor hanging loose out of the back end of the plug. Now cut yourself some adhesive tape. We're going to use these as double-sided adhesive pads to hold those resistors together on the back of the adapter. And here are the six associated pin assignments we're going to be using with the resistors to create the folding dummy plug. Now take your first resistor and install the long wire into pin assignment number one and the shorter wire into pin assignment number six. Taking your second resistor, do the same thing, place your long wire into pin assignment number 3 and your short wire into pin assignment number 8. Taking your third resistor, install the short wire into pin assignment number 2 and the long wire into pin assignment number 7. The main reason for installing the resistors in this manner is to ensure that we can pull them together as tightly as possible on the back of the VGA adapter. Next, take your double-sided adhesive pads and place one in between each resistor. The main purpose for these pads is to stop the wires from shorting out as well as keep those resistors tightly secured on the back of the adapter. Straighten up the resistors and fold the adhesive pad all the way around the resistors. Finally install some electrical insulation tape again to stop those wires from shorting out on the back of the adapter. Now you can install your folding dummy plugs into the back of each graphics card and boot up your PC. Now we'll need to set up or configure your hardware. Going into your NVIDIA control panel, make sure you've disabled both physics and three-way SLI. For this, we do not want to be using SLI. When you've selected these options, click Apply. Select the Setup Multiple Display option, and here you can see the two analog displays that are being simulated by the dummy plugs. Put a check in each box, and again click Apply. 
Finally, go into your Windows Operating System screen resolution option and double check to make sure that the new two simulated analog displays are set to extended desktop. The software setup and configuration for your three client folding machine couldn't be easier. I've already gone ahead and configured three folding folders for you guys. All you need to do is to log on to our forum and download the relevant file. So in order to obtain that file, simply follow the following steps. Scroll down and click on the Folding at Home link. Again, scroll down and look for the following topic. Now simply click on the link and save that file to your desktop. When your file is downloaded, click Open and using WinRAR, extract the Folding at Home folder to your desktop. This folder is password protected but the password is available on the forum link. Go inside your folder and here you'll have three GPU folders and an info file. The info file contains the link for the full Folding at Home program as well as the Folding at Home monitoring tool. Go inside the first GPU folder and double click on the Folding at Home icon. This will initiate the Folding at Home program which will log online and download any missing files you have to start the folding process. Right click on the icon on your taskbar then select status and log file and this will show you all the activity within the folding package itself. As you scroll down if you do identify any errors don't get too concerned simply close the log file give it a couple of seconds and restart it and you'll find these errors will usually clear themselves. Now you've initiated all three clients we need to shut those clients down and we're going to restart them one by one and configure each client to your own personal needs and preferences. Now restart each client one by one then right click on your taskbar select configure and go into the configuration box for the Folding at Home package. Here you see my name, Troubadar. You'll need to remove that name and replace it with your own username. Same with our team number. However, if you don't currently fold for a team, feel free to leave our number there. Next, you'll need the following configuration settings and make sure they've still stayed in place. With the machine ID, ensure each client has a different machine ID number. Then click OK close the client and restart. Overclocking your GPU for folding is a relatively straightforward operation. Here we're going to use the EVJ Precision tool but we're not going to increase the core clock that will only add heat to the GPU. What we're going to do is increase the shader clock so remove the link increase the shader clock to a stable configuration and then click apply. And here is a fantastic monitoring tool for your Folding Farmer folding rig. This is the Folding at Home monitoring tool. I pasted a link on your info file that you downloaded with your folders. Now this tool will give you a percentage progress on the actual projects you fold in as well as the ETA and your points per day per client. It will also tell you the credits you're going to receive for each project you currently fold in. In the bottom right corner, it will give you an accumulative indication of the points per day performance of all the clients running on this particular tool. Now for you guys, if you have lost that info file, here is the link for the Folding at Home monitoring tool. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope this video helped you, especially in the planning and setting up of your next folding rig. Now, if you're not currently a member of a folding team, feel free to join ours. Here is our folding team number. And don't forget, if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in gaming and PC hardware, feel free to subscribe.